वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश शाशन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द थ्रोटिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टाइम सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यूमेरिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टाइम सीरीज एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू टाइम सीरीज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फाइंड आउट द ट्रेंड्स देर आर टू मेथड्स विच आर बींग हाईली एक्सेप्टेबल इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स वेन बी डिस्कस अबाउट टाइम सीरीज सो लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द थिंग्स there are two ways of finding the moving averages so whenever you are going to take out the moving average the first thing that a researcher must has to consider is that whether it is asking for the odd number years or whether it is asking even number of years okay so for odd number of years there is a different method and for even number of methods there is a different method so there are two methods of calculating the time series the first one is for odd number of years and the second one is for the even number of years whenever we are going to calculate the moving averages of odd number then there is a different method of calculating time series and when the even number is being given there is a different method of calculating the time series now let's explore one by one if the question is saying that you have to calculate the moving averages of 3 5 7 or 9 or more than 9 means this is the odd number and you have to calculate the moving averages of the odd number then you are going to apply this method the first series says that there is certain time frame which is being given 19 90 2000 2001 2002 2003 2020 so these are the years which is being given over there then there will be values given over there it will be 5 2 4 7 6 8 like this some values will be given over here and then you have to calculate the moving average so for odd number as the question is saying that odd number odd number is 3 years 5 years 7 years 9 years so for this you have going to apply this method the first thing is this that you have to calculate the total of the number of year which is being asked by the question if the question is asking that you have to calculate the moving average of 3 years so you are going to take the 3 years total right so 1 2 3 1 2 then 1 2 then 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 like this you have to take out so for the first value 5 plus 2 7 8 9 10 11 the first value will be 11 because 1 2 3 is being taken over here so like this you are going to calculate the different values then you have to take out the average means 3 year total you have taken here and now what you are going to do that you are going to divide the value the total value by 3 3 year average that is being divided over here and you will get the trends so for 3 years you are going to take 3 3 values at a time for 5 years you have to take 1 2 3 4 5 then write over here 1 2 3 4 5 then write over here so for 7 years you have to add the seven values and accordingly you have to leave the first value and add the rest value like this you are going to calculate the moving averages of the odd number but when the question is asking about the even number even number means 2 years 4 years 6 years 8 years or 10 years or more than 10 years 12 years 14 years whatever it is being asking same way the year will be given certain years values of the time will be given what is the years 1991 92 95 for example 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 like this the year will be given over here and after that the value will be given 2 5 7 8 6 7 4 so there are different values will be given now the question is asking that you have to calculate the moving average of the even number even number says that it is 2 4 6 8 10 means anything which is being given in the even years you are going to ask so if it is asking for four years 
तो द फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज दैट यू हैव टू टेक द कैपिटल ऑफ द फर्स्ट फोर ईयर्स सो फोर ईयर्स टोटल फोर ईयर्स टोटल सो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड यू राइट इट ओवर हियर इन द मिड ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू विल फर्स्ट वैल्यू विल रिटर्न ओवर हियर द सेकेंड वैल्यू वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इट विल बी रिटर्न ओवर हियर देन द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इट विल बी रिटर्न ओवर हियर देन द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इट विल बी रिटर्न ओवर हियर सो दिस इज द फोर वैल्यूज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वेन यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द फोर ईयर टोटल नाउ वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू हैव टू डू टू ईयर्स टोटल ऑफ फोर ईयर टोटल right means now you are taking the two year total of four year total these two value if it is x and if it is y you are adding this and you are writing over here if it is z you are adding y and z and you are writing over here if it is a you are adding z and a and you are writing over here clear so you are going to do in this step Two years total means two values you are going to take it and add out and write over here. Now the next step which is coming is that if it is asking two years, then you have to multiply this value by two. Means you have to take out the eight years total. Right. So whenever you are going to calculate, so here you are going to calculate the. Four year moving average, but I have written eight years for you only. You don't have to write this. You don't have to write this in your copy. You have to just take it over here. That eight is being given because you are going to calculate the four years. So four year moving average. Now whatever value it is going to come over here, you are going to divide it by eight. Whatever value is coming over here. You are going to divide it by eight. Whatever value is going to come here, you are going to divide it over here, and you are going to write. And this is the moving average. If the question is saying that you have to calculate the moving average of six years, you are going to take the value of six, six first six right over here, then next six right over here, then next six right over here. Then two years total means two two values you have to add and write it over here, and then because you are calculating the six year. Moving average, then you are to going to divide it by twelve. When it will be six, you are going to divide it by twelve. When it will be eight, you are going to divide it by sixteen. This is the thing which is very important. Means the value, the years for which you are going to calculate, the double of that is the number by which you are going to divide the two year total. Clear? Now let us explore this by the help of an example now compute 5 years 7 years and 9 years moving average for the following data the question is asking that you have to calculate the moving average of 7 years 9 years and 5 years so there are different values which are given over here years are mentioned 19 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2000 2000 2000 so these are the years which has been mentioned over here and the values is been given 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 20 20 20 so these are the values now remembering the odd one in the odd number i have said that first you have to take out the total then you have to take out the averages so for 5 years if they are saying that you have to calculate the 5 year total so you have to take 1 2 3 4 5 and you have to write over here means the total of these five value is this now for the next one leave this first value then 1 2 3 4 5 and write over here means adding the first five values and going over here now for the next value this is the one 1 2 3 4 5 and write over here here so for the next one you have this value 1 2 3 4 5 
and write it over here so like this you are taking the first five digit for the first five digit you write over here then leave one then next five write over here then leave two like this you are going to calculate since it is five you have got two values which is not being mentioned over here now what you are going to do you are going to take the averages so divide this value by five so whatever total is incoming of the five years you are going to divide it by five and you are going to get the value over here means this is the average this is the trend which you are going to find and you are going to find that it has got a positive trend right so for the five year moving average it has got a positive trend means it has got a rise in the value now when the same question is being asked for the seven years so till date we have taken for five years five values for seven years we are going to calculate the total of seven first seven values one two three four five six seven for the next one one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven so mid value is this one and you have to write this over here the mid value is this one you have to write it over here like this whatever the values are coming for the next one one two three four five six seven so the mid value is this one and you have to write over here right so whatever will the mid value you are going to write it over here now for the seven years you have added the value of seven numbers now you are going to divide it by seven and this will be your average clear here also it is a positive moving trend now if the question is saying that you have to take the value of 9 years so for 9 years you are going to add the first nine value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is the nine value and you are going to write four four you will leave this is with the middle value and you are going to write it over here means adding the nine values and writing it over here now for the next value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and writing it over here this will be the total of these nine values now the next 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the mid one is this one you have going to write it over here so these are the values you are getting and the total of 9 year will be divided by 9 to get the averages or to get the trend here also it is a positive sign or positive moving average of the values which is being given over here so for odd number you have seen that whether the question is asking about 5 years or whether the question is asking about 7 years or 9 years we are going to calculate the value according the question whatever the question is asking if the question is asking for the 5 years we are going to add the values of the first five terms then dividing the same by the 5 and you are going to get the trend so this is the process by which you are going to calculate the values of odd number now when we are talk about the even numbers we are going to take a different process as i have told you before so here the question is saying that you have to calculate the moving average of the four years four is a even number and you have remember that when i have told you about the even number i have told you that first you have to take the total of the number of years which is been asked in a even value if it is 6 add the value of 6 next 6 next 6 next 6 add all the values then take out the two year values means the first two values you have to add and divided by the twice the value which you are going to calculate means if you are calculating the value of 4 years you have to divide it by 8 if you are going to calculate the value of 12 years you are going to divide it by 24 so here let's see this is the years which is being given over here these are the years 
and this is the production value which is being given over here. They are saying that you have to calculate the moving average of four years. The first thing you are going to take is to add the first four values and you are going to write it over here. Then next four values and you are going to write it over here. Next four values, this one and you are going to write it over here. Next four values you are going to take and you are going to write it over here. Next four values you are going to take and you are going to write it over here. So this is the four year moving total. Means four four values you have taken and you have added it up. Four, four like this and you have added it over here. Clear? And you are going to divide it by the value. So this is the way you are going to calculate the moving averages. So, I hope you have understood that how uh, you are going to calculate the moving averages of even and odd number because this is very important to find out the trend. Thank you. Mm -hmm.